<laughs> oh yes. Mm. <clears throat> Well, we may as well just get the show on the way, right? No sense in, in hanging out. <laughs> so we're back. Oh, look at what the heck. Nick Pixel TV sitting here ready and waiting to go. All right, Woodhounds. Let's get the live stream on your way. Nick Pixel TV. Thank you very much. Good evening, Woodhounds. How is everyone? It's Friday night. Cheers! Mm. Oh my! So, yep, we're back inside tonight because Mother Nature is playing games with me. <laughs> the radar says rain at 8.30, heavy rain, so I don't know. So how is everyone? Another hot week. It's been a very, very hot week. Outside in Michigan. How are you doing, my friend? Tim and Old Saws. Ronan. Good evening, Ronan. <clears throat> Joshua tuning in from Southwest Virginia. All right. Hey, Wyatt. That's good you're outside. Like I said, I'm just... I was going to move everything out there, and then I saw that it was going to be raining, and then to bring it back in, I was like, ah, oh, maybe I should just stay inside and just kick back inside here. So, hey, Adam Carter, I don't know if you saw the picture on uh, the community post or on Instagram or Facebook, but the Hackberry is here. The Hackberry is here, my friends. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's it was a pretty big tree. Some big chunks of wood coming out of that thing. But, um, but yeah, who was... Todd Lacey, good evening. And Daniel Atkins, how are you doing? Um, Homestead Fabricator, how can someone do firewood when a trailer park rules limit you to one full cord of firewood? Oh, boy, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Homestead Fabricator, but glad you're here. Found the channel and are part of the Back 40 Woodhound community, my friend. You can only have one cord at a time. Well, let's see. I don't know. Maybe somebody, maybe somebody will have some creative ideas out there on how to keep an inventory on hand, but you wouldn't be able to sell very much. Oh boy, Ronan! All right, Woodhounds, <laughs> are you ready, Woodhounds? The Irish Wolfhound, Woodhound, Ronan, across the pond is. Uh, oh wait, I gotta get this glass turned around the right way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a big team Woodhound drink to Ronan. Thank you very much, my friend. And I'm able to set my drink down tonight on some uh, on a pretty sweet little coaster that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit here. That a fellow woodhound, Harry, Harry the old guy down there in Florida, he sent up here to me. But yeah, the Hackberry, I had never heard of it either. It was uh, it's um it's interesting. I, I I had to I you know I had to see what it was like, so I took one piece back and split it. And it's kind of stringy like elm, and um, it's got a very interesting smell, almost like a fermented wine smell. Um, and I think I think Adam Carter was he had mentioned something in a comment about like a gold, a yellowish gold ring around the wood. So yeah, it's got that, and. Like I said, it's a, uh, it's a big, it, there's a lot of big chunks. <laughs> I actually, uh, hey, look at this guy. Look at this. We got to hang on here. How do I, how do I, I got to, uh, how can I, there we go. 
That's right, that tech. Nothing better on a Friday night than chilling with fellow Woodhounds on the Back 40 live stream. We'll have a little, have a little mini cheers to that. But um, yeah, the hackberry I was moving. I took the uh, the carry all off, and I was moving some of those big chunks with the just the carry all frame. And uh, I think uh, I think I bent bent the frame <laughs> again. I think I bent it some more, so it's almost. Um, I think it's almost compromised. I don't think I'm going to be able to haul too much, uh, too heavy of loads with it anymore. <clears throat> I did not check it with the moisture meter yet, um, but I know it's not going to be ready. Um, I'm I'm planning on it for next year. It's getting it's getting stacked away for next next summer, so I'm going to split it kind of small, and then uh, put it in the well, some of the big chunks I'll be chunking up for the the boiler next year, but <clears throat> so yeah. So um, I know some of you. I saw some comments uh, earlier um, about Woodhound Senior in the video this week, and the one little interesting story that um, we kind of talked about in the second video, but then it didn't really fit, so I kind of left it out, but. After he refuel or put fuel in the O51, and he went to start it, he uh, he noticed that the spark plug was kind of loose, and so he took his wrench to try to tighten it, but the whole spark plug just like basically like was just sitting in there like just by a thread. So he had to take the spark plug out and check it and put it back in, but he's not sure if it was just like over time. It's kind of rattled loose, and that day was the day it finally rattled out far enough where it just kind of fell out. So, um, but yeah, that was one interesting little thing that happened up there because I know because in the video it's like I go to cu start cutting up the top, and then you know he was like still trying to start the saw, and it was because the spark plug had fallen out basically. So hey, there's the saw surgeon. How are you feeling, my friend? I hope I hope you're doing better. <laughs> that was uh, yeah. I hope uh, hope you're feeling better, Mr. Saw Surgeon. <clears throat> but yeah, so that was uh, that was a fun little week or a fun little day up there, um, bucking up that that big oak tree and getting it hauled home. I did go back. Um, the, uh, the the property the homeowner he asked asked me if I would leave him like some of the smaller stuff for uh, like they wanted to have some like campfire wood or just like fire pit wood so I was gonna split a bunch of it up but then I figured if I split that stuff up and give it to him they're probably gonna try to burn it you know like in a month or two and so. I brought all the oak home, and then I took them a bucket full of uh, my wood that's ready to go for, like, the roadside stand. So I took them a bucket of that on the loader and figured that way they have some, if they want to have a fire this weekend or next week, they have some campfire wood on hand. So so that was the little trade trade off that, that we worked out. And, but there was a lot of wood in that tree. It's, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be fun splitting it up, which hopefully we're going to be getting to tomorrow if uh, if the weather holds out. I got to actually, I think I'm going to actually stand up. I feel like standing up. That chair isn't, isn't that comfortable anyway. So it's, uh, let me just center this thing up. Got the window in there a little bit. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, so then I went up there, and actually I think it's coming up in an upcoming video, you'll see, because I went back up, I took them the bucket of, uh, like, fire pit wood, um, and then I dropped that off for them, and then I went to push all the bark, or all the branches and all the brush into that uh, pile, 
And then I ended up seeing um, another little find that you'll see in, I think, Tuesday's video. Ronan, what is easier, live streams or videos? Oh, boy. I don't know. <laughs> it all depends on how, how tough the crowd is in here on Friday nights. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, that's a good question. It doesn't, um, I kind of treat videos kind of like they're live because I try to, you know, get all the, try not to make too many uh, blunders and bloopers when I'm discussing things. I mean, obviously for the live stream, there's no editing, so that's a plus. Um, but I do, I, uh, I don't know, I enjoy both. I enjoy the live streams just because, you know, like I said, it's a good chance for you guys to interact with each other and um, and I can jump in there every now and then when I catch a comment like that, like yours. But I enjoy both. I do enjoy, like, you know, just going out and filming, you know, like Saturday when, when my dad came up, you know, I basically tried to capture stuff all throughout the day and then afterwards I could go back and kind of piece it together to kind of, you know, weave it into a little story. So I, I kind of, I like that as well. But, uh, well, yeah. So the other thing tonight, got a couple of things I want to show you guys, which I was going to demonstrate outside by the fire pit, part of the, um, the back 40 giveaways. I see some of you have been signing up for. So the cool little thing, this is, uh, one thing I'm going to do tonight. I got two things that like I, so like I got this stuff for myself. But I kind of like, I'm kind of into like, I don't know, smaller gadgetry type stuff. So I got a couple things here. Two things I'm going to show you tonight. And then you guys can, we'll have a little poll again on the live stream. And you guys can pick which one of these things you want to go into the bucket for the giveaway prize package. <clears throat> but first, I want to show you... Um, Harry Ellingsworth on here. He um, <clears throat> he does a lot of work with epoxy and and woodworking and repairs nail guns and all kinds of stuff. But he um, he sent me up some coasters that he made out of epoxy with my sticker in them. So these are pretty cool. And then he also had um, one with the captain, <laughs> which this is really sweet as well. And then he sent me one for good luck in year two, the horseshoe coaster. <clears throat> and he also made these pens. One's made out of epoxy and one's made out of, I believe he said a maple. But, uh, oh, hey, there's Max, <laughs> Max Air 420. Max Air 420 is coming in hot. And so is the Jacobson Project. <laughs> Max Air 420, the Jacobson Project. Here you go, Woodhounds. Team Woodhound Drink. Thank you very much, my friends. <laughs> The Jacobson Project, partial payment, no, not necessary. We'll get to that in a second. But yeah, so Harry sends me up these all these coasters that he made with uh, leftover epoxy and the pens. And so Harry, once again, thank you very much. I've got one for use right now. Sitting here, here's actually his logo. He made one with his sticker. So. I'm putting that to use right now. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So that that one, that last little uh, super chat there from the Jacobson project. He is that's a uh, 
good friend of mine. He also has started up a YouTube channel doing some uh, off-grid homesteading in northern Wisconsin. It's a pretty, pretty sweet little project he's got going on. So you might want to, if you're into that stuff, check him out. Check out the Jacobson Project. But he actually came to uh, get some pallets that he's going to be doing something with. I won't tell him what because it'll probably be in a future video. So don't want to give you a spoiler alert. <laughs> thanks, thanks again there, Mr. Jacobson Project. Yeah, so it's um. I just thought I heard somebody yelling outside. So one of the things I'll show you guys one of the things right now that I was gonna show you later on. Yeah, Matt's firewood. Go and uh, they got all. He's got all kinds of. He's um, in the process of building a tiny home, so it's pretty cool stuff. Um, <laughs> so one of the things that I, like I said, I got these, I always am looking out, looking for little things. So I got this little, um, it's a, what the heck is it? A USB rechargeable lighter. And it's like... It's a, a, a double arc lighter. So basically, it's like not a flame. But check this thing out. So it's waterproof. And it's got like... It's got four little like electric arcs that basically work like a lighter. And You can't blow it out. <laughs> <clears throat> so I saw this thing, and I'm always thinking about, like, when I'm out there getting the fires going for the live streams, and I always have those, like, butane, like, you know, fire starters with the long and the, the little trigger. The, and, like, I'm always picking one up, and it never lights. It's always out. It's always, like, clicking, 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 can't light it. This little thing, you can recharge with a USB charge cable, and it like, it's just, I don't know, it's pretty cool. It doesn't have a flame. It's just got these little, four little arcs. So I tested it out, and it lights, I mean, just like a lighter. <clears throat> but, uh, but I saw this, and I was like, that's kind of cool. I got to have this for, out on the, out on the bar. For when I'm lighting uh, the fire pit up. <clears throat> so this is one of the possibilities that could be going in to the next Back 40 giveaway prize package. <laughs> <clears throat> and it comes with, uh, comes in this nice little box. It's got, um, got the charger in there. And again, I'm not like endorsing this or no, not a sponsorship or anything. Comes with a little cable and the charger. Ho! Oh, and hey! And there's Paul Dickey! Name that saw! <laughs> oh! Alright, PD. I gotta get this figured out where I'm at. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. Raise your glasses, raise your cups, raise them up for a big team Woodhound drink to Paul Dickey. Cheers, my friend. <clears throat> so like I said, I'm gonna show you one other thing later on, but this little thing, this is, uh, like I said, it's going to work out great because I'm always, every time I pick up one of those trigger lighters to start the fire out there, it's always empty and it never lights. So, now I've got that little thing. <laughs> Mm. 
Uh oh. Craig, you're out of, out of shy blight. You're going to have to make a beer run. Yeah, Joel Cray, I know. I was. Well, now it's actually looking. So at, at 6 o'clock, I looked at the radar. And I did the, um, the forecasted, like three hours ahead. It had this big line of rain, you know, red, yellow, big storm front moving through. Right at about 8 o'clock, it was going to hit us. And then an hour ago when I checked, now it's pushed back to like 9. So it probably won't even happen. Who knows? But I figured instead of risking it and going out there and having to try to haul my computer in, in the rain, <laughs> or <laughs> I would go out there and then it would be like, you know, we'd have a severe thunderstorm roll through and, <clears throat> oh, Corey O'Reilly, there you go. He's, uh, I think that's, that's the same stuff that's moving this way, so, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't like to gamble against Mother Nature. I just say, all right, if it looks like it's going to be storming, I'm going to stay inside and play it safe. <clears throat> oh, Orlin. Orlin and Kathy Brummer are here, and he says that, oh, they got a hackberry tree that's 170 years old. Jeez. <clears throat> Oh, Larry Cluck says it's been ugly in Minnesota. There you go. That's that's what I saw. I saw that big line of storms that was coming pushing through. So, um, yeah, it's probably just you know, like I said, just probably safer to stay inside, play it safe, <laughs> play it safe. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's it was nice like it was we were out actually we actually had a fire Started at about 430 just kind of sat around relaxed um, And then you know it was it was nice out then all of a sudden I checked the weather and now Yeah, it looks like it's rolling in As long as it comes through and is done by tomorrow because tomorrow the plans are super split Saturday the Amazing Amanda is going to be out. We're going to try to split up all of that oak that we brought back from the neighbors. So hopefully we can get through it all tomorrow afternoon. <clears throat> we'll see. I might even, well, I don't know if I'm going to stack it up. I'll eventually stack it up, but I don't know if I'm going to like stack it up to measure how much we got out of the tree. I don't know. We'll see. Because <laughs> then it's kind of like, you know, do you go through all the trouble of stacking it up? Unless I stack it in my new location where I'll be stacking. Maybe I'll do that. Then we can kind of measure it out. That might be the plan. <clears throat> the, um, so... Let me show you this other stuff. <laughs> these things are these things are kind of cool. And this, what I'm about to show you, this is option number two for tonight. And we'll we'll wait till the end. Later on, in the, later on, I'll I'll ask you guys again for like a one or a two. See which one you want to add to the to add in. But um. Mrs. Back 40 actually found these, the Amazing Amanda, and I gotta get them on right, because I can't, what the heck, <laughs> here we go, all right, no, <laughs> this is how good they are, you can't figure out how to put them on, there we go, now I got it. Once you get one hand figured out, oh, hang on a second. I just saw something flash through. Nathan Ruff, 
and Max Air 420 again. Come on at us. Nathan Roof, thank you very much. I'm glad that you'll be traveling safer around the state now. I'm glad I'm glad you got that. <laughs> so Nathan and Max Air 420, everybody, raise your cups. Give them a big team. Wood on drink. Cheers, everyone. All right, so. <laughs> uh, are you ready for this? Now, like I said, this is something that uh, Amanda found, and she was going to surprise me with it one day, give it to me for, like, I don't know when. But So here's another thing. Like, if we go out to the fire pit, and it's later in the evening, and you want to start the fire, you got to hold the flashlight, you know, or you got to maybe, you always have one hand that's like holding a light. Or let's say you go out to um, get some wood in from your wood pile in the evening, or you go out to fill the boiler. Back when I, before I had electricity in the shed, I'd have to go out and, you know, if, if my wood pile was in the dark. See these? Check this out. Lighted gloves, my friends. <laughs> so now, yeah, look at this. Dude. <laughs> so wherever you're grabbing, it's like you have a flashlight reaching right down, picking stuff up. So these things. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is pretty freaking cool. Or, you know, like, let's say, let's say you're out in the, in the middle of winter, you're outside, you're out camping, you want to go write your name in the snow, when you got to relieve yourself, now you can go down, <laughs> you can look where you're, look where you're aiming, and yeah, these things are, Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff there. So, like I said, Amanda found these, um, and she just thought they'd be good for, like, you know, um, if we're out there and we have, like, we kind of have the wood pile back around the corner of the bar by this tree, and it's not really lit up very well. So something like this you can put on, even if you just use, you know, one hand. One, it's like you got a light right in your hand. <clears throat> so, so yeah, that's the other thing. <laughs> this is the other, like I said, I'm kind of a sucker for gimmicks and gadgets and gizmos. <laughs> but yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want to have these lit up if you're uh, raising your cup up because they are pretty bright. But they are pretty cool. The only thing I'm not sure of is, um, and I, like I asked her, I'm like, ah, I wonder how these would fit over top of uh, gloves. But then she showed me that they actually make a full, like, insulated glove with lights in the knuckles. <coughs> so, <coughs> so see, this is like I, like I said, kind of all ties together, like. The whole theme of you're out, you know, if you're camping, let's say you get to the campsite late, you got to set up, start a fire, it's getting dark. Well, you don't have to hold your phone or a flashlight. Slip these little things on and you can see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's crazy what you can, it's crazy some of the stuff they make out there. <clears throat> hey, Slick Willie! Slick Willie is here, and did I see? Ah, some of these things fly by too fast. Can't keep up with this. <laughs> ah, yes, that is that is true. A headlamp. Headlamps work well as well. Well as well.
Hello, Jeff Johansson from the south of Cheddar Curtain. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, tomorrow, uh, whoa, it's light, it's light, it's kind of bright, now that I'm looking at it here, maybe I should turn on, hang on a second, let me see if this helps, that's a little better, Jeff Stacy, have a good weekend, buddy. <clears throat> trying to trying to just catch up on all these comments. Slick Willie, he did a little uh, right before we got going here. He sent me a picture of a uh, another burn that he did that he filled in with some colored epoxy that was pretty sweet looking. Pretty sweet looking indeed. Ah. So today was the uh, today was the uh, big um, what is it like citywide? Not really citywide. The, the township that we're in. It was the township's uh, like garage sale weekend, which I was surprised that they were having it. But you know, so um, the amazing Amanda went out this morning to do a little garage sailing, and I was like. Now, if you see any old axe heads, or any old axes, or any old tools, be sure to grab them. Or send me a picture so I can tell you if, you know, if they're, if you should get them or not. Well, she actually went out and found a few things. <laughs> they weren't axe heads, though, or they weren't axes. I was hoping to get a couple uh, old axes to... Send out there to Tim and Old Saws and have them refurbish, but <clears throat> but instead she found this little saw. It's got a little. Uh, I guess you can change the change the blade out there. But it's got an interesting little handle on it. Looks pretty old. You know, not that I would probably be using this for anything, but, you know, I could see it up there somewhere, hanging on the wall, maybe uh, something like that. <laughs> and then she also found, and this one has a pretty cool handle, um, Kind of got a little design pattern there, and that's another another little saw. So you know, maybe uh, something. I don't know. I'll have to see. Gotta see where I can hang them up. Maybe do something like this. Cross them up. So. Take a guess how much. The um, they were on the table that had uh, the sign on the table was make an offer. <laughs> make an offer. So I she messaged me with the pictures and I'm like, uh, make an offer for uh, a buck a piece. <laughs> so the. Um, she, she offered that to the lady, and the lady was like, well, eh. So she ended up getting them both for two fifty, <laughs> two fifty, buck twenty-five apiece. <laughs> so one dollar and twenty-five cents for this guy, and one dollar and twenty-five cents for that one. So not a bad little find. Uh-oh, speaking of little finds, hang on, we got to get... Speaking of little, you want to come and say hi? <laughs> yeah, there's, um, I think there might be some more garage sales tomorrow, so uh, <laughs> you can come up here. <laughs> so.
Somebody is a... Uh... Oh, there he goes. So yeah, I think it was, you know, for a buck 25, I mean, like I said, I'm probably not going to really use them, but I like that. I like the look, the old worn out look and that handle. I think would be pretty cool. I might kind of clean it up, clean the handle up, give it a little uh, linseed oil. I think that's what, maybe bring the little shine out a little bit. Oh, look at this. We are... At the bottom of the hour, time for round two to start. Gotta get my ice. Oh! Again, if you are... If you're new here tonight to the Back 40 Friday night live stream, the Woodhound tradition, it doesn't matter what's in your cup as long as you raise it up. But tonight, in my cup, as in most Friday nights on the live stream, we've got the captain. And this live stream is not brought to you by the captain, although it could be. <laughs> Anybody out there with the... I don't even know who Captain Morgan distributing. Hey, and look at that! <laughs> Isaac Rycard. That's right, we'll see if we can get <laughs> two more saws. All right, so there you go. Like I said, if you're new here, this is the deal. Friday nights... We raise our cups and toast to our Woodhound friends. So, to Isaac Reichard, thank you very much, my friend. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow, we'll get out and find a couple more old saws. So, cheers, buddy. Thanks. <clears throat> Matthew, you all know she does. She's just... She's busy. <laughs> she doesn't like to, uh, she doesn't drink on the internet. <laughs> she likes to have a little wine. But, yeah, she's just down, she was out for a walk with the dog, and then little boss man, he needed to take a bath, and, you know. The usual Friday night routine. <laughs> And now, yeah, she needs to. She needs to have a, a cup. Get up here and. <clears throat> yep, there's a. Uh, the little boss man. He's our little six year old. So um. He was uh, pretty dirty tonight. He was actually swimming earlier today out in the pond. So he needed to get a bath. You know all that. All that Friday night routine stuff. And the Friday night, well, the routine is about to get very difficult because the uh, school is coming back. <laughs> and little boss man, the six-year-old, he will stay up all night long. Like, I go to, I fall asleep, Amanda falls asleep, and... Little boss man will be out watching TV, rumb rummaging through the kitchen, getting something to eat. So, like, every day now, we've been trying to wake him up, like, 15 minutes earlier each day. So, like, you know, 9.30, 9.15, 9 o'clock, 8.45. So, hopefully, in the next week or two, we can get back to, like, 7, 8 o'clock. <laughs> but it's tough. I don't know how many of you out there have kids that are getting ready to go back to school, but... We don't even know what day we're officially even going back to school or what the plan is. or They don't have any idea what's going on. Well, they might, but they haven't told us. So, <clears throat> so oh, wait a minute. What's this? Sid's Time Outdoors. Hi from Lake City, Michigan. Can't stay, but want to say hi to all you woodhounds. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and stay positive. 
That is so true, Sid. Sid's time outdoors. All right, Woodhounds. There you go. Thank you very much, Sid. Uh, greatly appreciate that. Cheers, everyone. I don't know if you're still here, Sid, but when I first saw you, um, when you submitted the Add Me to the Woodhound Map of the World, I thought you were, I thought I said Lake City, Minnesota, and I actually used to go to Lake City, like, every weekend a long time ago, but yeah, I used to be in, I used to go to Lake City, Minnesota all the time, but, so thank you very much, my friend. And speaking of the Woodhound map of the world, <laughs> those of you who are new here, if you haven't been over to, oh, hang on a minute, we are losing, <laughs> we've lost, we've lost the stream. What is, if you haven't been over to the Back 40 Woodhound map of the, or Back40Woodhound.com, you can go over to the website and we have the Woodhound map of the world where you can add yourself right down here, add yourself to the map. You can see the growing number. We got some more international people. Oh, wait a minute. We got to jump back. I think, I think <laughs> I'm losing control here. <clears throat> All right. So, here we are. We're back. We're back here. I think we're back. <laughs> we are... Did I miss... I think I missed the Jacobson Project. Hang on. I did! The Jacobson Project. You... You coming at us here? All right, Woodhounds, once again. Raise those glasses up to the Jacobson Project final payment. Cheers again. Cheers, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Jacobson Project. That is not necessary, but greatly appreciated. Hey, did I see... I think I did. I think I saw... O W B Not outdoor wood boiler. No, not outdoor wood boiler, but O W B Outdoor or <laughs> outdoor Ohio wood burner. Hey, there was some somebody right now just added themselves to the map. The Woodhound map of the world. Oh yes. So yeah, if you're new here, like I said, go over there, check out back40woodhound.com. The little thing is right down here. You can, uh, there's the, uh, the Back 40 online store with a bunch of merch. There's the Woodhound map of the world. There's um, <clears throat> all kinds of stuff to look at. <clears throat> Old Man Fred. Good evening, buddy. There's, uh, and actually over there, there's also the, um, like the Back 40 gear page, which is, just a link to like my Amazon store where I do have like these gloves and that lighter, everything up there. Which is, where did I put that lighter? Right here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> there is Ohio wood burner. Ohio wood burner. I hope the back 40 dried out for you down there. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Oh, give a tour of my place. Are you talking to me? Uh-oh. Here we got another. There's another woodhound added to the map. Sweet! <clears throat> it's crazy. Like, every, every week, you know, I always, like, sometimes, you know, you just don't, you think, well, you know, what do we got here? We got 86 people watching right now. So I'm like, well, you know, there's probably not, everybody that's watching right now has probably already been over to the, added themselves to the map, you know. 
<clears throat> but every week that I show that, like within, you know, during the live stream or after or the next day, like come Monday morning, there'll be like five to ten new people added to the map. So it's just, it's, it's great. It's like a nice, like, like I said, you can go on there and see, you know, where kind of everybody's from and where the, you know, more dense, densely populated woodhounds are in the world. <laughs> but there was a couple, um, a couple new paw prints uh, over in the UK, and I think there was another one in uh, Denmark, I believe. There was a couple international woodhounds added to the map. Oh, Harry! Well, I hope you feel better, my friend. Um, have a good rest of the night and weekend. And, uh, yeah, I hope you feel better. Thanks again for the, the coasters and the pens. Great talking to you. And, uh, yes, hope you feel better. Stay safe and get well. <clears throat> Ronan. Ronan, Ronan, Ronan. Joe's Firewood videos here. I hope you didn't. I, I don't know if you saw my comment back to you, <laughs> back to you Joe, but I'm just, I hope you know that. I'm always just, you know, I'm always just ribbing you. I'm always just joking around, so don't take any of my replies too seriously, buddy. <laughs> <clears throat> So, all right, before I forget, let's, uh, which of these, and I don't know yet, this is the one thing, I haven't decided on the date for the first, the first of the Back 40 giveaways, but, um, which do you guys, so we'll do for, just do a quick, uh, a quick poll, so hit, hit the one. If you want the lighter added, hit the two. If you want the gloves added. <clears throat> so one for the lighter, two for the gloves. Whichever, uh, whichever one is the winner, we will uh, add those to the prize package. Like I said, at the maybe at the end of the month or after a month, when I get like three or four things in there, we're gonna we're gonna do the. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, three? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and tally these up, but it kind of looks like the gloves might be being, might be added in. We'll see. And who knows, maybe they both will be. Maybe it'll be a split decision, and you know, I got a couple other things for lined up for next week, and then, um, yeah, one of these nights, and I'm probably going to do the um, the drawing on the live stream. So, hey, look at this guy over on the east side of the state, Jared Hildebrandt. How are you doing, buddy? Woodhound Convention Fund. Yes, that's, we need, we need one. So, uh, everyone... Raise up those cups, your glass, your cup, whatever it is, to uh, Mr. Jared Hildebrandt. Thank you very much, my friend. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, and oh, we are getting some. We are getting some woodhounds on the map. Let me tell you. And we're getting some people. That's right. If you go over to Back 40 Woodhound. Right here. <laughs> Everything is reversed. If you go over to Back40Woodhound.com. On the homepage. Scroll down. Scroll down a little bit. And then you'll see the entry for um, the giveaways. <clears throat> Basically... It's kind of like just, like I kind of explained last week, um, 
I just get stuff, you know, I go out and I see stuff and like, you know, these gloves are man saw. So what I've been doing is if I get something, I'm going to show you guys what it is. And then I'll probably pick up two of them. And then I'm going to put that into a little prize package and once a month maybe or randomly whenever. Um, I'm just going to do a giveaways because, you know, it's, it's nice to, I don't know, I like, I like, you know, doing stuff like that. Like I said, on live streams, I like it because we can do the whole must be present to win. <laughs> Remember the last time we did that? It's like, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but that's why I put that little, uh, the little four on the form. There's a column to fill out for like, what is your YouTube name? Because <laughs> we had, I read the person's name and it wasn't their YouTube name. And then there was two people with that name and, huh. Yeah, it was, it was fun, so. But yeah, it's just cool. I don't know. I just like, you know, I just like having fun. It's just fun to be able to do stuff like that. And, you know, it's not, like I said, I mean, some of this stuff is kind of little. Maybe one day I'll give away, like, uh, my old saw if I ever get a replacement or something. <laughs> oh. Joe's Firewood videos, he's got a giveaway I think he might be doing, or an auction, part of the truck. The legendary Joe's Firewood truck, part of that bumper fell off, but the part that fell off, oh, luckily enough, it had, it had one of these on it right here. <laughs> so you'll have to check that out. He'll probably be showing it in an upcoming video. If not, Joe, you got to show that in a video. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Daniel Atkins. I, um, I don't know. <laughs> that would be a pretty expensive uh, shipping. <laughs> hey, it's bedtime. Oh, yes, it is getting late. Travis, have a good night. Stay safe. Have a good weekend. Yeah, I will probably have it. I will probably have that saw for a while. <clears throat> it's it is it is a nice little saw though. It'd be tough to get rid of that. It would be. But now that I look at, I'm just looking at this thing. This I gotta check something here. I don't even know on this lighter. I don't even know where you recharge the dang thing. Oh, there it is. Ah, the micro USB port right there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Rechargeable lighter. <clears throat> Chewy. That's right. We might be naming, we might be, we have to name that 291. We might be calling her, calling her Chewy. Cause she does chew through, through the wood pretty good. Hey, have a good night, Joe. Joe Ziegler. <clears throat> what is your favorite brand of chainsaw, Ryan? That would be steel. Steel chainsaws. And the saws that I have, I only have two. I have the um, the smaller one eight, MS 180, 180, 180. Yeah, the MS 180. That was the saw I had for the longest time. I've had that saw for like almost eight to nine years, I think. It's a small little 16-inch bar. And then a few years ago, I upgraded to the MS 291. And uh, that is my main saw now because it's 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 not that heavy. And it, I mean, it works. You know, the the, the one eighty I'll get out if I have like smaller limb wood to do. But it's um yeah, it's the two ninety one is <clears throat> <laughs> 
in the wood yard. Uh, we have not gotten any rain yet, but it's supposed to be coming. <clears throat> Yeah, the, the that's hey, hey Nathan Roof. How was the? Uh, have you had that old the old Mac running, the old McCullough? Have you had it out chewing through any wood? I forgot to ask you about that. <clears throat> but I'll tell you one thing, like <clears throat> if you. Running that 291, like I'll be out there and I'll be, you know, cutting tops, lemon, bucking. And then if I take and I go and grab like that 051, <laughs> it's like so heavy. It's, it's crazy. It is, hey, woodchucker, woodchucker, woodchucker. How much wood can the woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Look at this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's raise our glasses up to woodchucker. Thank you very much, my friend. Cheers. Yeah, so... Um... So right, I'll go back and look to see which of those, the lighter or the gloves. I think the gloves might have had it. Um, might have had it. Might have won the, the poll. So I do have some other kind of exciting news. <laughs> um, I've been working on a new design for something. That's going to be um, stickers. Possibly a shirt, I don't know yet, but in the next, I think, two weeks, I'm going to do a little, uh, uh-oh, guard dogs barking, but yeah, I got, I got a pretty cool, everything that I, like, everything that I, all my logos, my shirts, my stickers, like, I, I try to do all the design work myself, and this latest one I've been working on, I think, turned out the best yet <laughs> so <clears throat> in the next week or two be ready I might do a little uh, like a little uh, community tab post and um, we'll see what the Here, this is what I this is what I do on this That usually quiets her down. <laughs> uh, and this little uh, the moose horn, this actually makes an appearance in Sunday's video. <laughs> hey! Oh, look at this. Paul Dickey is back. Name that saw. All right. I think we might be doing it. I think we might. I think Chewy, right? That's what you use. Chewy. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, here's to Paul Dickey. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> Dennis. I don't even know what this horn is. It's actually, um, it says it's the, the call of the moose. It's from Minnesota. I think it's just, uh, I don't know if they have these at like wild games or Viking games maybe. And I don't even know where. I think actually, I think uh, my mom got this at the state fair. But yeah, it's, it's loud. And every now and then I'll just in the evening I'll give a couple calls out there through the through the neighborhood. <laughs> hey Todd Lacey. Have a good night and have a good weekend.
<clears throat> so, all right, what time is it? Yes, it was a state fair treasure. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if the... Um, Oh, he's, uh, so anyway, hang on a second. <laughs> now I know why the dog is barking. Somebody is here. <laughs> but anyway, I think, what time is it? It's uh, it's getting it's getting to be that time. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Chewy, that's right. I think Chewy is uh, is gonna have to be the name that we gave the saw. I kind of like that, but I forget what was the um the name of the the O fifty one that you had. <laughs> That's right, saw surgeon. Pucker up. Somebody's here. You never know. <laughs> oh, you have. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, <laughs> act sober, everyone. That's right. Attention. So. Yeah, I think it's getting. Uh, I will go back and check and see. Like I said, I think uh, I think these little gloves. Oh, we got another, another one on the map. Can you believe that? Oh, from Wisconsin even. Hey, who is this? Eric. Is Eric in here? Eric. I don't know if I saw him in here or not, but he just added himself to the map. So. Welcome to the Woodhound map of the world, Eric. That is pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I think I had an email too from. Uh, is the audio is the audio off on this tonight? Somebody I think emailed me that the audio was having some sync issues, but I think that happens when, um, like sometimes YouTube. The bandwidth just isn't, you know, enough either on your end on the download or my upload. <clears throat> Actually, Craig, I think I got I never I I was going to go back and go through that and look at which state had the most paw prints. But uh I don't know. Wisconsin's got a few. They definitely do. So all right, but I think that is, uh, I think we are getting close here. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody just said that the audio was off. So I don't know. I'll have to go back and check. But it does, uh, star bucking. There you go. That was a, that's right. <laughs> All right. So. Everyone, oh wait, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the exit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>